My daydreams have led me on a wondrous expedition, alone, in a small open boat, and landed me on an isolated island. I had been informed by locals that it was uninhabited and inaccessible. So rightly so, I had to explore. The island was strewn with companies of gulls, puffins, razorbills, oyster catchers, guillemots, and shearwaters. I invite you to join me in exploring my Dream Island. As the sun breaches the horizon, Skokum Island awakes from its slumber. A living canvas of wonders, Skokum stands sentinel of the Pembrokeshire coast. Its cliffs, lush meadows and craggy shores play host to an annual spectacle that draws visitors from across the avian world. At the heart of this realm, razorbills and guillemots take centre stage. These seabirds, masters of the cliffside ballet, herald the start of their daily routines. Amidst the rugged embrace of the cliffs, a razorbill pair tends to their young. In the realm beneath the waves, the razorbill's hunt begins. With precision and grace, they plunge into the depths, gathering fish to sustain their growing family. Back on the rocky ledge, a parent returns with a bounty of sand eels, a vital feast for their eager chick. As summer graces the island, razorbills and guillemots gather in communal roosts to raise their young ones. Skokum Island, a haven of seasonal marvels, where towering cliffs become nurseries, and the dance of life plays out against the ancient backdrop of sea and stone. A beloved and enchanting presence takes its place on this avian stage. Puffins! Nature's comedians embody the spirit of the island. These seabirds, belonging to the orc family, form monogamous bonds and often return to the same spot with the same mate in subsequent years. To attract a female, males flick their heads and grunt like a pig near a nesting burrow. Once paired, they maintain their bond by rubbing their bills together. Puffins fashion their homes within the very cliffs that embrace them, each pair carving out a haven for the generations to come. In a dance with the waves, puffins take to the water, diving to depths unknown, skilled hunters of sand eels beneath the shimmering surface. Puffins gracefully glide above, wings etching poetry against the cerulean canvas. Their biology, a masterpiece of adaptation, enables this airborne ballet. Puffins descend from the skies, their landings a spectacle of grace that belies their comical reputation. In this noonday theatre, a darker presence emerges. Gulls. With calculated precision, 
these aerial marauders swoop down. Wings clash, emotions flare. Gulls dive, disrupting the puffins' vital mission, pilfering their hard-fought rewards. The very air becomes an arena of survival, a saga of strategy and tenacity. But within these battles lies an untold tale. Behind the mask of marauders, gulls are driven by an unseen force, the nurturing of their own hungry chicks. A paradox of predation and provision, a reminder that even the fiercest conflicts play a role in sustaining the fragile web of life. But the weather, as unpredictable as the tides, begins its stance. The breath of the Atlantic awakens, a symphony of winds and waves transforming the tranquil sea into a theatre of tempestuous beauty. As rain descends, the island's inhabitants stand resolute. Puffins embrace the gusty winds, a reminder that life thrives even amidst nature's tempests. The deluge retreats. It is here that opportunity knocks. Meet the resourceful oyster catcher, a coastal sentinel, seizing the moment as the rain's curtain lifts, scouring the damp rocks for hidden treasures. In this brief interlude, the oyster catcher plies its trade, a choreography of beak and rock, a testament to adaptation in the face of change. As rain yields to the sun, Skokum's creatures persist. Venturing beyond the waves, where the lesser known realms beckons, Skokum's underwater world is a hidden tapestry of life and wonder. Here, beneath the surface, a world of mysteries and marvels unfolds where kelp forests sway like emerald curtains and delicate flora dance in the ebb and flow. Exploring the depths reveals a symphony of colours and forms, a bustling metropolis of marine life, each resident playing a vital role. The ethereal dancers of the deep are the jellyfish, drifting with the tide. In this underwater wonderland, the enigmatic grey seals make their grand appearance. Masters of the currents, their playful spirits enliven the aquatic ballet. In graceful arcs, they glide through liquid realms, engaging in a timeless dance that connects the land and the sea in a single embrace. As the sun's golden light kisses the island, a puffin returns to its burrow, a meal of sand eels clasped in its beak. And business goes on as usual. While the day's light dims, Skokum remains a hub of activity. Residents continue their tales under the twilight sky. The puffins romance and dance along with the lights and the waves. A canvas of colours is displayed as the sun bows to the horizon, casting its warm embrace over the island. The day may wane, but its heartbeat persists.
As daylight yields to the cloak of night, a different symphony takes centre stage. A long day near its end, but the island's heartbeat is far from still. In the darkness, a peculiar chorus echoes. The haunting call of the Manx Shearwaters, unique to these islands, fills the air. Here, in the embrace of Skokum, not one, but a staggering 90,000 Manx Shearwaters find refuge, nesting and roosting within the island's heart. But another enigmatic figure graces the night stage, the Storm Petrel. Its name, a nod to the belief that its presence signalled an impending storm. With wings that skim the surface and a life mostly spent at sea, Storm Petrels navigate a world of both danger and serenity. As the sun ascends once more over Skokum's timeless shores, a symphony of life and purpose echoes through the windswept cliffs. Here, amidst the rugged beauty, the spirits of the island dance, its inhabitants a testament to nature's resilience. Beyond these scenes lies a story of dedication and determination, a story etched by the Wildlife Trust of South and West Wales. Their groundbreaking research pierces the veil of mystery, unravelling the secrets of Skokum's delicate ecosystem. Through these tireless endeavours, hope radiates. Hope for a future where Skokum's creatures thrive, where generations yet unborn bear witness to its beauty. Scientists and stewards unite, treading with reverence and purpose, safeguarding a legacy that stretches from Lockley's dreams to the realities of today. Lockley's legacy endures. The echoes of his words. My dream was to dwell alone with birds, flowers, in some remote place where they were plentiful and undisturbed.